to the family, you know what it is, People United, <coughs> so I got called All Lives Matter, yeah, so like, I took a time out my busy, busy day, busy, busy week, busy, busy year, busy, busy life, to share this amazing, amazing fact, knowledge, that we share this planet, we are big, our rulers, the people we watch on TV, the people that we put in power, not we didn't put them in power, that are in power, people that teach us, educate us, the top of all these so-called establishments, um, supermarkets, shops, um, they're all, all reptilians, yeah, draconians, yeah, and we have more proof here in the UFC, yeah, so like I said, if you watch all my videos, I'm, I'm, I'm airing out the UFC, American football, soccer, baseball, athletics, um, movie stars, actors, singers, rappers, um, media, BBC, TV, I'm airing them all out family, because this stops today, yeah, so share, subscribe, like, comment, yeah, I'm bringing this whole community together, and this guy, what's his name, so let me just scroll down to get his name, Plutus Dam Van, he only has 804 subscribers, and I probably think he's got more, but because obviously they like to control how much um, viewers and subscribers are we allowed to have on this subject, um, it probably has like 8,000, it probably has 80,000, but you will never know. <laughs> So, without further ado, let's get into this information, family. Hope you're all doing well. Share this with people, like-minded people, people on the same wavelength. Um, that's when it comes to your family and friends, when it comes to the internet, share it with everyone. But um, people that you know, that are close around you, if they don't know and not on the same wavelength, don't, don't, <laughs> what's the word? Don't single yourself out, act them. Um, knowledge is power. So if somebody gives you something that you know that they're on the white wavelength, they're on the right track, then you go and you tell them what they need to know on that subject matter. But until they give you a subject to make you realize that these persons open-minded, ease away, don't tell everybody about what's going on because they'll only single yourself out, they'll only call the police, they'll only call the... Yeah. <laughs> trying to say that you're crazy, you're mad. So, rather than you going down that road, family, and have your friends and family turn against you, just go on the internet and get this information out there and let's link up with our community um, that know about this factor and then we can start outing other YouTube channels that are clearly about this agenda. So, without further ado, it's not an agenda, it's just a fact. What's up, guys? This is the Word on the Street podcast, where we smoke weed and bring you the latest UFC rumors and speculation, along with predictions. But today, we're going to have a very uh, bizarre episode for you. We're going to talk about what is perhaps the most ridiculous and outlandish UFC rumor of all time. You're not going to believe it, but we're actually going to be discussing a theory that's been creeping through the internet. It's been, uh, it's been lurking through some of these fight camps, even. Some of the fighters are even starting to talk about it and get freaked out. We're going to be talking about aliens in the UFC. Specifically, we're going to be talking about the theory that there are alien reptilian shape-shifting beings from another dimension or from outer space that have infiltrated the UFC and are now fighting, posing as fighters. I know it's ridiculous. For the longest time, I didn't want to believe it myself. But I'm asking you people, to open your minds, blaze a J, smoke a little bowl, and listen to the evidence that's about to be presented to you. I'm also gonna have some video. And you're gonna be blown away by how many fighters are actually aware of the possible alien reptilian threat. And before I dive into this, I just wanted to give a quick shout out. Thank you to Eddie Bravo. You're listening to one of his remixes right now. He was cool enough to uh, allow me to use it. I asked him oh, to amazing. listen to his music. He said, yeah, sure, go for it. Hopefully he's out there listening. Thanks, Eddie. Follow Eddie Bravo on Twitter, everybody. Now, the people on the internet that believe this theory that there are aliens fighting in MMA, 
they actually call it the MM alien theory. The MM alien theory. All right. Now, one night, I was cruising through some of the David Icke reptoid message boards on the internet, smoking dope. And I ended up uh, spending 18 hours studying all the research. And, and, and the consensus seems to be that aliens actually invented martial arts and taught it to humans back in Asia and whatnot. Now, most people aren't aware of this fact, but the name Jiu-Jitsu literally translates to Art of the Fighting Lizard. Whoa. Look that shit up. Not only did a superior alien race teach us how to build the pyramids and do sex, they also brought us the technology of the martial arts in order to, to unite our minds with our bodies. They also gave us marijuana at the same time, and they taught our Bigfoot ancestors how to smoke it before training. This is some deep ass shit here. And, and you're asking yourself, why would an alien race capable of traveling the cosmos at light speed give a fuck about fighting on our shit planet in the UFC? Well, have you ever seen the movie Predator? It's, it's sort of like that. The, these aliens get off on combat, especially with the top fighters of another race. It's, it's a well-known fact that aliens love to start trouble and fuck people up. And Earth has some great fighters, and I guess, I guess the word on the Milky Way has gotten out, you understand me? But according to the experts on reptilians, here's how it works. Basically, there's a large martial arts tournament that's been going on for thousands of years throughout our universe. In the prelims, they already took place on other planets like Nibiru and LV-426. The finals are now taking place on Earth at the UFC. And, and all the major reptilian fighters, they've already worked their way and infil infiltrated our society, you know, without us even fucking knowing about it. And Eddie Bravo, I love you to death, but with a name like 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu, you've definitely attracted more than a few lizards to train at your camp, all right? Y you've probably suspected it for a long time, and now it's time to fucking listen, man. Y you got lizards in your camp, all right? Now, um, identifying them, for from what I've read on the internet, you can sometimes spot these reptilians because they tend to lick their lips a lot and blink repeatedly. They, they, have, they always have... Excellent grappling skills and precision striking, you know, above average speed, and, and they drink blood. That, that's the dead giveaway. Also, these fighters tend to just appear out of nowhere, all right? They, they sign up at a gym, and they don't say shit about their past, or they just make up unbelievable backstories. You, you see that, all right? Good, good luck finding any background on these sons of bitches. You, you ever notice there aren't any pictures of Anderson Silva as a kid, all right? It raises the question. Could he possibly be a shape-shifting, short-grabbing, illegal, kneeing piece of alien shit? Think about it. It's also pretty fucking obvious that all of the UFC refs are aliens, all right? Just, just look at these fucking mutants. But big ass John McCarthy, those, those two bald motherfuckers, Herb Dean's weird ass fish eyes, and the, those predator dreadlocks. And, and don't forget that, that freakish woman looking thing, Kim What's Her Face. They really fucked up that more for shapeshift, whatever the hell they call it, they fucked it up. But if you think the MM alien theory is just crazy bullfuck, tell it to some of the real human UFC fighters who found out the truth about the aliens, all right? It's caused some of them to lose their fucking sanity, you understand? Diego Sanchez, he can't even sleep at night because he's traumatized by this knowledge. Just look at this video. Cross check, seriously. I know, I got you, I got you. Diego, Kasha, yeah. get the fuck out of here, I'm serious. Diego, Diego, ah. Diego, ah. Diego, I'm with you. The aliens are coming, Diego. Diego, line your side, line your side, line your side, Diego, line your side, Diego, 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 line your side, line your side, Diego, line your side, Diego, line your side, and it's not just Diego Sanchez. You know, John Jones, he, he can fuck people up like his Bentley, you know what I'm saying? But even he freezes up when you bring up these aliens in the UFC. What would I do in the event of an alien invasion? Hmm. I'd probably find my family first and find some shelter and some weapons and hide. And the word on the street is that George St. Pierre faked his injury <coughs> because he found out the truth about the reptilian fighters. And he's actually terrified of fucking aliens, all right? This is a fact. Check it out. Uh, yeah, you know, there's a, there's a little uh, known fact about George St. Pierre, and is that, uh, sorry, George, is that he is deathly afraid of aliens. This guy is very scared of being abducted by aliens, so we'd always try to tell a story, have someone come in and say that they were once <laughs> abducted by aliens to really freak George out. That's one of his big fears. Sorry, George. You're not kidding, though. This is serious business. I I'm dead serious. Yeah, this is George's biggest fear. He's, you know, probably the best fighter in the world, and he's afraid of aliens, so there you go.
It's uh, fair, and I, I know it's very stupid, and I don't even know why I'm scared of this, but it's being taken by alien. That's my biggest fear. <laughs> and I don't, I know it's totally stupid, but since I'm young, I was, I, I, I'm scared of it. And I remember my dad used to tell me all the time, he's like, oh, it's because you're a kid, it's gonna go away with time. <laughs> like, now, it doesn't go away. I'm always scared of this thing. I'm always in a black dress like a ninja when I run. So if a spaceship come to get me, I'll be able to run away from them. Let me just level with the people listening out there, watching out there, and tell you that I, for one, tend to believe in the MMA alien theory because I, I'm... I believe that I've fucking sparred with one before. Cringe. This was about two years ago when I first started teaching UFC moves while I was selling weed on the side at the local gym. There was this big ass weird looking motherfucker that came into our gym one day and he started throwing people around like piles of piss, just devastating everyone in sparring and grappling sessions. And f finally we all got so fucking sick of it. I just said, look, fuck it. I'll challenge him. And we went five fucking rounds before he got me in crack pipe control and submitted me. All right. Bravo style. Right away, I knew something wasn't right. So I was like, look, dudes, this guy's a fucking lizard. Let's get him. We, we can't have this trash at our school. I don't understand what it is, but let's destroy it. Uh, and everyone in the MMA gym, we, we all jumped in. And we dragged this fucking thing to a dumpster behind a Burger King and left it there when it was all said and done. I swear to the sweet baby Jesus, this shit happened. No man on the planet can submit me. Not me. So this thing was obviously not from this fucking planet you understand me we never saw that reptoid again now uh john jones used to be at the top list of suspects for being an alien but um you know with the way he just came out of nowhere he was knocking people out mowing people down like it was the premiere of the dark knight rises you know what i'm saying but uh that theory was recently shot to hell and disproven the community's given up on that uh since the end of the you know since the light pole dui incident where he got, uh, you know, he was arrested drunk driving. In, he drove his half million dollar car, his Bentley, into a light pole. Um, it's safe to say that no extraterrestrial being would have made that sort of mistake. Uh, I'm lying, I'm that I'm they're lying. a lot smarter about that. I don't think they even need to really drive. Never done that, so. uh, they're, they're interdimensional shape shifting beings. I mean, they could turn into like. Also on the list of aliens of these lizard reptilian fighters are the Nogara brothers. Right. I mean, yes. You know when uh, Frank Mir b broke off uh, Nog's arm the other fucking month? Y you think Nog had surgery to repair that? No, he didn't. He just grew another fucking arm. That's the word on the street. Now, I know what all the skeptics are going to be saying. You're going to be saying Dana White would never allow alien fighters in the UFC. Yeah, well, guess what? Well, Dana's clean. Don't worry about that. The word on the street is that the owners of Zufa and the UFC, the Fertitta brothers, the billionaire Fertitta brothers, they are the actual reptilian masterminds is what I'm hearing. They're running the whole fucking show, all right? And they love seeing their aliens become champions. I mean, how, how else do you turn a failing, a failing business like the UFC into a billion dollar industry, all right? It doesn't happen without some help from the outside, the outer, the outer planets, you know what I'm saying? And this information is just the tip of the iceberg here. We, we've only scratched the surface of the MM alien theory. Um, but, but hopefully we've woken some people up out there and you'll be, you'll be able to join us in the fight against these reptilian invaders. We, we're, we're definitely going to follow up and keep track of the story here on The Word on the Street. Um, be sure to tune into the podcast. Follow us on Twitter or YouTube if you, if you want to hear more ridiculous UFC and MMA rumors, uh, you know, with some influenced... Uh, Sorry, not influenced. Forget about that. With with some uh, fight predictions and speculations. This is all legit on the up and influence. Right? Word on the street podcast. Thanks for tuning in. I know it was. Yes, I'm in influenced. And can I say what I really want to say? Yeah, I'm not influenced by nobody. I can talk the thing. Yeah? A whole lot of them UFC, WrestleMania, football, soccer, um, Queen, every Queen, every President, every King, every everyone. You know. Yo, listen, yeah, the next video is powerful. All my videos are powerful, but well, this one, yeah, if you need more proof, we've got it right here, family, stick on this channel, share, subscribe, like. Next one is the Oxford Reptilian, yeah. We're going to show you exactly 
where they are. <laughs> okay, peace, love. Check out the next one.